What's going on, buddy? Welcome to today's video. It's a little bit early in the morning because once again, it is still dark out, but I wanna give you guys a full day of eating everything I eat in my current calorie deficit. I've only got two days left before we start peak week or upping the carbs, so I figured I'd show you guys the diet. First things first, I'm gonna show you guys what I take every morning are my multivitamins, or I guess some vitamins, multivitamins included, and this little, um, I don't even know what you wanna call it, like pill case is how I track everything. So today's Monday, so we're gonna be having Monday. But what I have is a combination of a few things, as you guys can see right here. So we've got our multivitamin to kind of fill in the gaps with my diet, immune booster, basically to make sure I don't get sick, uh, ashwagandha, KSM 66, if you guys can see that, ashwagandha, krill oil, because I don't have the most amount of fish in my diet right now, and then a generic allergy med because we don't want to get allergies or wanna, we don't want to have the effects of allergies. Got a lot of Funko Pops back there as well. But um, yeah, so basically just want to show you guys everything I take today, or I guess everything I eat along with all the supplements I take. So yeah, we're going to start things off with some multivitamins as well as a bunch of water in here, which I need to go fill up, and then we're going to go whip up some breakfast. Um, but yeah. Take you guys through the day, show you guys everything I eat, all my supplements, and a special announcement along the way as well. Stay tuned. Good morning. Can you come out. How are you? Good morning, Kelly Goose. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And for breakfast, I always like to start my day with a high nutritional value food. So what we're gonna have is the leftover donuts from yesterday. So we're gonna have eight donuts. I'm just kidding, this is um, not mine, but it is something that I love to look at every day and not be able to eat because, um, oh my gosh, we got cinnamon rolls too, some sort of like pastry cinnamon rolls. I know those are absolute garbage because they're probably grocery store um, cinnamon rolls and donuts, but that's one thing, I'm living at home on prep right now. It is not the easiest thing considering my family does not have the same, I guess like kind of, not, not that those things aren't healthy. Once again, donuts, I'm gonna be consuming a lot of donuts on my cheat day, but the fact that they kind of always have um, not the healthiest food stocked up, because in my mind, I'm like, oh, if I don't buy it, I won't eat it, so I'm not gonna actually buy donuts and have those in my house, or buy things like um, Reese's Pieces and have those in my house, just because I personally don't wanna eat those, I don't wanna spend my money on them, but um, not everyone's like me, and that's totally fine, but I gotta just have a little bit extra willpower, which has been a struggle. I'll definitely touch that tomorrow, because I think tomorrow's video I'm gonna break down kind of like, a little bit more of a just a, a sit and talk with you guys. But yeah, once again, that was a joke. We're not eating donuts. We're gonna whip up some eggs and toast. I'll show you guys the meal that we're gonna actually have for breakfast. And the toast I use, or it's not the toast, the bread I use to make my toast is this Nature's Own Honey Wheat 40 calorie a slice. Personally, it's the best bread I've found that's been low calorie. There's other like 35, 45 calorie breads, but this one, in my opinion, is the thickest. And if you make high protein like breakfast, egg white, French toast, this absorbs so much more egg whites than any other. So this is per personally what I rock, so highly recommend Nature's Own Honey Wheat. And just like that, we have our breakfast. It is two whole eggs, two of those low calorie slices of bread, as well as cooked in five grams of butter that we did weigh out because butter is very, very calorie dense, as well as some salt, pepper, and everything bagel, or everything, yeah, everything bagel, but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. You guys saw me slap that on. But yeah, this comes out to be 266 calories, 18 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. This actually keeps me pretty full for the most part. This will last me basically up until my pre-workout meal, which is really nice. Once again, I think it's the whole eggs, how nutritionally dense they are, as well as once again, some toast, some high calorie bread with some fiber. But yeah, I absolutely love this meal. Honestly, I just wish I could have probably five or six of the eggs on toast, which I'll definitely be having post show, because I will say I'm craving a lot of breakfast foods right now. So I'll be having a lot of breakfast foods, a lot of eggs, a lot of toast in the future. But yeah, we got Maisie, myself, that's breakfast, meal number one. See you guys in the next meal. Can I help you? <laughs> You're so silly. The time has come for meal number two. Katie, what are you snacking on? She's got some breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast sammies. 
Mm -hmm. Bacon, egg, cheese, English muffin, all oh, it smells so good. It smells like bacon in here. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to have breakfast food again. That is first next stop. Week. <laughs> wait, what did you say? I said next week. Next week, yeah, literally next week, also on Sunday, because that's our first stop. We're going to Echo, which is like a really nice, like basically like not like fancy diner, but like diner diner breakfast for breakfast food. That is stop number one of the cheat day. Actually, I think stop number two because I need donuts first. Um, but my meal is some chicken breast. Yeah, chicken breast. And then we're gonna have two chocolate rice cakes, boom. One banana, boom. And then 20 grams of this natural creamy peanut butter. And that comes out to be, let's see here, 481 calories, 56 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, and then 41 grams of protein. Oh, and as far as how much chicken, so I have 16 ounces of chicken throughout three meals. Unfortunately, 16 does not divide into three in an even way. So I'm gonna do, I think I called this one five. Yeah, so I'm gonna call this meal is gonna have five ounces of chicken, and then the next meal is gonna have five ounces, and the last meal is gonna have six ounces. Even though that's not perfect, I have a container that has 16 ounces of cooked chicken. As long as I eat all of it today, I will eat 60 ounces in total. So how you divide it up per meal, you can just eyeball it and you'll be fine. Well, yeah, I'm gonna make up this meal. This is also our pre-workout meal. That's where we have the banana rice cakes for some carbs. We've got legs today. I don't think I'm gonna take you guys, honestly, because I'm just, I'll be honest, it's a full day of eating. I'm not in the mood to film at Crunch right now. I am just gonna go get my workout done, come home. But yeah, I'm gonna whip this up and then we have our special announcement. All right guys, so the special announcement, super stoked to announce I'm officially a barbell apparel athlete, which is awesome. If you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, I've actually never really partnered with any sort of apparel company or brand. That's because I'm just really picky about the clothes I wear and I never really found a company that I could wear for everything, right? And that's the big thing about barbell, which I absolutely love. Like this entire fit, which I have to go to the gym in, is all, all barbell apparel, but also they have polos, they've got jeans, they've got Henleys, so they pretty much cover everything, honestly, a fitness guy needs. And initially what got me into them is their denim. So as a guy that works out, and if you're a guy that works out, you probably have, hopefully, have some decent sized legs. Je jeans are like just the hardest thing to find that fit. I mean, Katie and I, I mean, we looked, quite a bit and then barbell um actually popped up on my i think it was my instagram i think i think, I think my instagram um and i was like okay i'm gonna try these out whatever they are just give them a try and i actually love these i actually wear denim which i've never done in the past because they never mm -hmm. fit right these are nice and stretchy um so yeah i've decided i'm gonna talk about three items just because once or three tops and three bottoms i can talk about it all day but the denim's great these are their recon joggers so these are a little bit heavier of a jogger they also got some lightweight ones but zipper pockets which are super nice and once again i can live in these they're super comfortable and these are their ranger shorts so these are five inch inseam which are fantastic once again the zipper pockets which i love so you're not actually like once again having things fall out and then um yeah so those are the three bottoms i absolutely love cannot live without they have great ones also their everyday pant but i can talk about for all day and then we got the top this is their stealth hoodie and you can see i don't know if there is there a logo on the back of this one nope Okay, well, they make different varieties where they have like logos across the top and bottom, but super slim, nice, once again, very convenient with the zipper pockets, um, minimal branding, kind of cool. And then as far as the tops go, probably my favorite is the polos, because you guys know I love to golf, and these are super high quality polos. They're extremely lightweight, They've, they're stretch materials, and this is their cheat day polo, which I'll be wearing my entire cheat day um, on Sunday, or at least until maybe it gets a little bit, maybe a spill on it or something, but absolutely love it. You got your donuts, your beer, uh, looks like tacos as well, so love that. Is tacos on that? I think so. Is that a taco? Or where is it? Is that a taco? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Like taco. I only noticed the beer, or that... I only noticed the donuts and the coffee. Donut. And I would say, is that coffee? Is that what that's yeah. supposed to be? I don't know. I feel like you can have coffee any day, not just a cheat day. They also got the basic polos. This is a Havoc polo, so that's just a classic, very sleek, nice, once again, moisture wicking, super nice fabric, and then probably... My favorite that I've been wearing, I think I've, I've probably worn this, what, three times? I actually times? do love this one right? so, so much. This is the Henley, so they've got short and long sleeves, but I actually wore this literally to my mom's birthday dinner. It's that nice, and it's super comfortable, lightweight, 
absolutely love it. And um, I think as far as guys apparel goes, I think a Henley is just a staple in most guys apparel that you need. So this is amazing. But yeah, super stoked to be partnered with Barbell Apparel. If you guys do want to pick anything up or look for anything, there is a link down in the description below. There aren't any discount codes. So it's strictly just, hey, if you like really like the stuff, I highly recommend it. They always have some sort of special going on. I think right now it's like you spend $100, you get a free stealth hoodie, something like that. So yeah, super stoked to announce that. But Pretty much that's what we see me rocking on the videos um, in the future. I'll definitely mention things now and again, but once again, I would say my favorite, I don't know if I have a favorite. Honestly, my favorite would probably be the jeans with a Henley. And that's just like a very classic, nice, casual fit. And then obviously, once again, in the gym, always rocking the recon joggers and the ranger shorts. But yeah, once again, I know that was a little bit preachy, a little bit salesy, but I just want to once again announce my partnership since I'm super stoked about it. If you guys have any questions about this stuff I'm wearing, uh, I'm pretty much a medium in everything. So if you guys have any, um, I know what, I'm 5'9", well 150 right now, but normally like 160, 165. So I'm a medium in everything and then, yeah. Cool, all right, well, let's head to the gym, and like I said, I'm gonna have an energy drink, and then, yeah, I'm not taking you guys to the gym, I'm sorry, I'm just like too low on energy, I just wanna go to the gym, do my workout, come back, so I'll show you guys the post-workout meal. Real quick, we just got back from the gym, but two things I forgot to show you guys, because I always forget to, once again, that on days like this, I'm gonna show you everything I put in my body, um, as far as food and supplements. So uh, we had a rain, we had the rainbow sherbet, I do have a few of these in the fridge, so I drank that on the way to the gym, and then when I got to the gym, since that doesn't have any sort of like pump product, vasodilation, anything like that, uh, we had our pump product as well. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Boom. Because that's the common pairing. When I do an energy drink, I'll do the pump product. If I'm not doing an energy drink, I'll just use the bulk, which has the pump product in it as well as caffeine. But now we're going to be home. We need to have our creatine. I actually need to open a new one. Maisie, what are you doing? You know you're not supposed to be in here. Out. Um, so yeah, we need to whip up our post-workout cocktail, which is going to be our creatine as well as our pump, not pump product, creatine as well as our post product, and then our post-workout meal as well, which is very basic. It's going to be some chicken, carrots, and rice cakes, but yeah, on these low-calorie days, that's all we get. So yeah, I'll put everything together, and I'll show you guys the final product. Here we've got our post-workout cocktail. As I mentioned, our creatine and post. Can you guys see those? Maybe? There you go, creatine and post from Transparent Labs. Once again, creatine, five grams a day. If you are a little bit bigger a person, smaller person, maybe you could go up to like, I don't know, seven, eight, or down to three. We're gonna pair that with our red zero calorie Powerade. Once again, as far as the Powerade goes, why I use it, honestly, more than anything, it's just for taste and rehydration. Obviously, after you work out, you're gonna be a little dehydrated. But honestly, at this point, since my, I don't wanna say my diet is bland, but I'm so hungry all the time that like, just having some sort of taste is really nice. That's why I have gum, that's why I have the uh, Power Raids, the Fresca, stuff like that. Something that's zero calories or close to it and still gives me a little bit of taste because that's what I'm kind of craving is just more food, which we will have very, very shortly. Five, four, yeah, five, five short days. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, we're gonna have this. I'm gonna hit my chicken and put together the carrots and some rice cakes. And here we have our actual meal. Uh, I guess you can call it that. It's basically three different ingredients. We've got our chicken tenderloin right here. Once again, I'm just gonna call this five ounces. I'm gonna eat 16 ounces throughout the day. We're gonna call this serving five. We have a little bit of the Cholula, hopefully it zooms in, Cholula Chipotle. Yeah, Cholula Chipotle hot sauce on there. We have 200 grams of carrots in this bowl, and we're gonna have three chocolate rice cakes. I'm also having seven rice cakes in total today. I kind of split those up, once again, ra not randomly, but two before my workout with the banana and peanut butter, three after, then two for my next meal. We're sipping our Powerade, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. It comes out to be 400 calories on the dot, uh, 56 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 37 grams of protein. Also the workout, I mean, mediocre. Like once again, I didn't take you guys because I just want to get in, get out. I honestly look at working out right now as a chore because I just don't have the fuel, the energy, or the motivation to train right now. Obviously, we're still going there with some intent, follow the program. But I mean, I'm not even supposed to train close to failure, this close to a show anyways. I feel like I've been training kind of, not subpar, but I haven't been training my best for the last like five or six weeks because we've just been yo-yoing back and forth between um, my sh like shows, cuts, peaks, shows, cut, peak, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to get back to some sort of structure of training. I'll probably take 
honestly, November, December, figure out what kind of program I want to, want to run. Probably something very similar. I might go from five days to six days, but then have two extra rest days. So it might be an eight day rotation, something like that. I'll definitely keep you guys posted, but definitely just want to change the pace. I don't, nothing's wrong with the program I'm currently running, uh, but I've been running it for almost like two years now and I just need a change of pace. I've substituted a few exercises here and there, but just once again, hopefully getting more calories, more energy will kind of revitalize the fire of training that I always kind of had. Yeah, this is gonna be our meal and that is meal number three of the day. See you guys in the next one. All right, so we are on meal number four of the day. We are back with the last little bit of our chicken. So once I consume this, it'll be one pound in total. I'm gonna say it's six ounces just for this meal specifically. We got 300 grams of strawberries weighed out. We're gonna have two chocolate rice cakes as well. And we're actually pair this with a Diet Coke because wow. I had a Fresca in between meals. So I figured I'd change it up, have a Diet Coke. It is something I drink a little bit slower, so maybe that might help, who knows. But once again, only day and tomorrow, and I'll cut diet sodas for the last three days. But I do get more calories, so that's good. But this meal comes out to be 381 calories. Oh my gosh, so much. 49 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, 43 grams of protein. That is meal number four. We have one meal left. I fell asleep while watching the Great British Baking Show, so I'm tired. But we're gonna have this meal. I'm a sauna, shower, one more meal. And another day down and one more low calorie day tomorrow before we start to refeed on Wednesday. I'm so excited. Yeah, see you guys in the next meal. All right, we are here with the final meal. We've got our casein protein pudding as well as some strawberries. So I would normally use blueberries, but the grocery store was out when I went the other day. So we're going with strawberries, 250 grams of strawberries, and then one scoop of our casein protein pudding, with a little bit of almond milk. I think I measured out the other day, it was like, one scoop of casein protein and about 200 grams of almond milk is what I personally use. But obviously more milk makes it a little bit runnier, less milk makes it a little bit thicker of a, like a protein pudding. But this milk comes out to be 200 calories. It is 23 grams of carbs, one gram of fat, and 27 grams of protein. And that brings our day total for the entire day, all five meals today, to 1,727 calories. 202 grams of carbs, 37 grams of fat, and then 162 grams of protein. The goal was 200 carb, 40 fat, and 160 protein, so pretty much right on track with that. And that is my second to last low day of this entire prep. Tomorrow is my last low day, the last day. I'm gonna eat the exact same thing I did today, tomorrow. Start the carb up on Wednesday. Hasn't quite sunk in yet, because I'm still starving. I feel like I'm bottomless pit right now, but that is the full day of eating. And then yeah, one more day tomorrow. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so what is that? I'll go to bed hungry tonight, go to bed hungry tomorrow. Hopefully eat a little bit more food Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, lead up to the show. But yeah, without further ado, I'll wrap things up here. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Peace.